Hey guys, Respawn here. In this video, I'm going to be going over multiboxing, incursions, and EVE Online. Let's get to it. So what is multiboxing? Well, in short, it's just playing multiple accounts or characters. And how effectively you play those accounts all at once is really up to you. However, there are some boundaries. Many games prohibit multiboxing, as the difference between multiboxing and botting can be difficult to detect, especially when you consider input broadcasting. Which is where the user can input a single action and it is routed through each client. Input broadcasting is prohibited in EVE Online. Multiboxing is allowed though uh, within EVE Online, but you would have to do that same action across each account which is where some handy software comes in. I used a program called Evo Preview, which basically gives you previews of your different EVE characters and allows you to quickly switch between them. Vanguard incursion sites are aimed at five to 10 player fleets and can be found in systems surrounding the main staging of an incursion. So this could be high sec or Null sec or low sec. Ideally, you want to be doing them in high sec with this kind of setup. Full powered only occurs with 5 to 10 players, even if you can complete a site with less. The payout works out to be just over 10 million per character, plus some loyalty points from Concord. This all came about when I started questioning whether I could come up with a fleet composition. I started tinkering and came across a few ideas which I tested on the Singularity test server. Then I took it to the live server with my initial incursion fleet, which consisted of two Lokis and three Vargas. This idea was formed around the Bastion module negating the incursion rat's electronic warfare. I adjusted the fleet as time went on. I then completely changed the setup of my fleet and added three more accounts. The final fleet consisted of one Loki, one Hugin, and eight local tanked rattlesnakes. My goal was to be able to stream solo vanguard incursions reliably. Naturally, the setup may not work if your goals differ to that. The Loki was particularly useful as it was a backup healer for the rattlesnakes, as well as being the main repper and healer for the Hugin. The Hugin had no local rep. All the rattlesnakes would assign their drones to the Hugin. The Hugin would slow the targets down with long range webs and target paint them, and also apply all the drone damage. This made it a lot more manageable while streaming, but there are faster setups out there. While multiboxing 10 accounts and clearing vanguard sites effortlessly was very exciting at first, uh, the novelty kind of wore off. It started to diminish other avenues of the game for me. I found myself choosing to do incursions even when I didn't feel up to it, as the other options were just not worth the time when I considered the isk that would come of it. Subs for each character also became an issue as Eve became a job rather than a game just to maintain the purchase of Plex in-game to keep the subs up, working out to be around 33 hours of incursion running monthly just to maintain it. To be fair, this was my experience. Your experience with multiboxing might be very different. There have been numerous changes to the game since, which may mean there are more lucrative ways to multibox now. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.